Hello and welcome to the tray station. Hello, hello, hello. Today, tonight, we are doing the most magnificent thing. Oh, it's so good. This is by Ashley Spires. Oh my God, guys. Wait until you hear this story. It is so cute. Okay. So this is written and illustrated by Ashley Spire. So we're dealing with, you know, a pretty uh, smart chick. She writes and illustrates. How cool is that? Make sure that you um, say hi or you do something so I see that you're there so I can give you a shout out por favor. That means please. <laughs> If you'll see, I'm wearing my new Tray Station shirt. Oh, isn't that adorbs, guys? Right? I know, I'm excited. So, anyway, here we are. It's 7.02. I'll give you a minute or two to pop in. Again, make sure you are uh, saying hello so I see that you are there. Hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. Hi, Walker. It's good to see you guys. Well, I can't see you, but I know what you guys look like. <laughs> anyway, so this story, guys, oh my God, this is the greatest. This is the most magnificent thing. I love that word. Magnificent. Oh, fantastic. So, oh, I'm so happy he likes his. Okay. I just saw that you sent me a video, but I didn't get to look at it yet but I will as soon as I'm done. Trust. <laughs> All right, so the most magnificent thing. I got this at the Haverhill Public Library. I told you guys I was working with the libraries. They're still doing it. You can call, you can tell them what you want, and then they'll bring it right out to your car. It's phenomenal. I love the libraries. I push the libraries. You don't have a lot of clutter. You're keeping them in business. It's great. Okay, so the most magnificent thing. Oh such a good story. I'm supposed to be the dog in the story. The most magnificent thing written and illustrated by Ashley Spires. This is a regular girl and her best friend in the whole wide world. They do all kinds of things together. They race, they eat, they explore, they relax. Hi Janita. There's her and her best friend. She makes things. He unmakes things. One day, the girl has a wonderful idea. She is going to make the most magnificent thing. And there she is. Isn't she cute? <laughs> I like her little dress. She knows just how it will work. She knows just how it will look. All she has to do is make it. And she makes things all the time, easy peasy. First, she hires an assistant. <laughs> Guess who her assistant is? That's right, it's her best friend in the whole world. Next, they gather their supplies. They set up somewhere out of the way and get to work. <laughs> Look at what out of the way is. I mean, I'm not sure if that's out of the way for the people. Isn't that funny? The girl tinkers and hammers and measures while her assistant pounces and growls and chews. When she is finished, she steps back to admire her work. She walks around one side. Her assistant examines the other side. It doesn't look right. Her assistant picks it up and gives it a shake. It doesn't feel right either. They are shocked to discover that the thing isn't magnificent or good. It isn't even kind of sort of okay. It is all wrong. The girl tosses it aside and gives it another go. Well, at least she's not giving up. Here's the girl. 
it's tough when you get frustrated. She smooths and wrenches and fiddles. Her assistant circles and tugs and wags. <laughs> when she's finished, she stands up and takes a long look at it. Her assistant gives it a nudge with his paw. The thing is still wrong. She decides to try again. The girl saws and glues and adjusts. She stands and examines and stares. She twists and tweaks and fastens. She fixes and straightens and studies. She is working hard. She tries all different ways to make it better. She makes it square. She makes it round. She gives it legs. <laughs> she adds antenna. She makes it fuzzy. She makes it long, short, rough, smooth, big, small. One even smells of stinky cheese. But none of them are magnificent. Hard work attracts a few admirers, but they don't understand. They can't see the magnificent thing that she has in her mind. She gets mad. The angrier she gets, the faster she works. She smashes pieces into shapes. She jams parts together. She pummels the little bits in. Her hands feel too big to work. And her brain is too full of all the not right things. If only one thing would just work. Crunch! The pain starts in her finger and it rushes up to her brain and she explodes! It is not her finest moment. I'm no good at this. I quit. Her assistant suggests a walk. <laughs> Look at her assistant. Isn't he cute? Love him. It's not much help at first, but before long, she starts to feel different. Bit by bit, the mad gets pushed out of her head. So anytime we get mad, guys, take a break. Go get a little drink of water. Count to ten. Think of some other ways you can relax when you get frustrated. As they stroll along, she comes across the first wrong thing she made. The bad feelings are about to start all over again. And then she notices something surprising. There are some parts of the wrong things that are really quite right. The bolts on one, the shape of another, the wheel to seat ratio of the next, there are all sorts of parts that she likes. These are all the things she built. <laughs> By the time she reaches the end of the trail, she finally knows how to make the thing magnificent. She gets to work. She works carefully and slowly. Tinkering, hammering, twisting, fiddling, gluing, 
painting. Her assistant makes sure there are no distractions. Well, this is the perfect thing to ward off bears. This will stop that leak. This is what I want. The afternoon fades into evening, and finally she finishes. She alerts her assistant. And those are the people talking about how her little inventions that she thought were no good are good for them. How handy is that? She's better than she thought. The pair take a good long look. It leans a little to the left and it's a bit heavier than expected. The color could use a bit of work too, but it's just what she wanted. They climb aboard and take it for a spin. They are not disappointed. It really is the most magnificent thing. <laughs> oh, is it not adorable? She made a little scooter and a little carry-along for her best friend. How cute is that? I think it's pretty cute. And that's the end of the story. So it's all about, guys, not giving up. And you'll basically come up with something that you like. Guaranteed. All right, let's see who is here. Oh, it says four, but I only see two. So guys, again, if you are here, Please make sure you say hi or do something so I can give you a shout out. So I figured I would do my rap since I love my rap. Do you guys like my rap? I like my rap. Someone suggested I make a little jingle, but I kind of like my rap. So hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. And welcome to the Trace Station. Choo, choo. It's an imaginary place. Come and have a look. In every single corner, there's an awesome book. I'll read you my stories while I'm dressed up weird. I may look like a princess or sometimes have a beard. I may be a doggy or sometimes an ox. Maybe a bunny, maybe a fox. Whatever the look, I'll be sure to thrive as I try to make your reading adventure come alive. My goal is to make you want to read more. Maybe find a book that you really adore. So don't be shy. Come on in, because everybody's welcome at the train station. Hi, James. Oh, my God. I'm so happy to meet you. Are you related to my friend Walker and Molly? Oh, I think so. So, guys, thank you so much for coming. You guys rock. I do have a couple of jokes. Ah, why are dogs good storytellers? Because they have the right paws for dramatic effect. <laughs> I love corny jokes. Um, what's a dog's favorite ice cream? Popsicles. Hey, popsicles. That's a dog's. Uh, oh, what is a vampire's favorite dog? A bloodhound. Good, good, good. Anyway, so those are my three jokes. <laughs> my three doggy dog jokes. So guys, don't forget, like and share, like and share. Please tell your friends, let people know about the Trace Station. Every Wednesday, 7 o'clock, don't be shy, come on in. I'd love to see people here. Um, and that's it, my friends, it's all I have. It seems so short tonight, right? I should have done two. Anyway, that's my last book. Though I do have a book coming in the mail. I'm very excited about it. Um, so I will post that when I get that. And remember, if you have a story that you want me to read, please give me, ugh, give me an inbox and I will definitely um, try to get that and read it on the next time. So I know Walker got Pete the Cat before, which I've never read Pete the Cat. And God, do I like Pete the Cat. He is fantastic, I have to say. Fantastic. Actually, I think I just read that they have another book coming out. I can't remember what it was called, but I immediately thought of you, Walker. <laughs> Every time I see Pete the Cat, I'm like, Walker likes him. In my head, it goes, Walker, Walker. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, if you have a book, thanks, Janita. I know Molly. I like morals, too. It's so funny. Thank you, Janita. Um, thank you, guys. So yeah, I love stories that have like a little, you know, a little piece of knowledge for the kids to hold on to. Uh, 
by the way. What is funny? What is funny? <laughs> You're funny! Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Sorry. Sticking in my eyeball. Anyway, so I'm not sure what, um, what I'm going to do next week, but I will be here Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. Don't forget to like and share. And again, if you have a... Um, Oh, Walker is messaging. Yes, Walker. Thank you. I love that you're messaging. You're adorable. Adorable. All my friends loved your video, you little cutie. Oh, <laughs> good. I'm glad you like them. Everyone makes fun of me because I love little jokes, but whatever. I don't care. I'm just going to be me and you should be you. And that's it, guys. So listen, have a phenomenal night, a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal night. I hope to see you guys next week. Again, if you have a story that you want to read that I haven't read yet, feel free to give me an inbox. And remember, these stories are all on YouTube. So if someone you know just heard about it and you want to let them know about it, they can just um, look me up on YouTube just by my name, Tracy Bowmaster, and you can find all the previous stories. I think um, the last two aren't on there. I have to download those, but... All the rest are. There's like 30 stories on YouTube. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway, all right, my friends. Listen, have a great night. Don't forget, like and share, like and share. Send me pictures and have a great night. And I will see you next time on the Tray Station. Bye, my friends. Thank you for coming. I'll see you next time. Bye.